So I take it the 2020 has been kind to you so far, and you're, you're okay with the turn of the calendar. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like to start us off with a win like that. It's nice, yeah, ready to come back and play. What felt good offensively for you guys tonight? Because it seemed like there was really nice ball movement. You guys got good looks. Um, exceptional in the paint early, especially. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think – what helped us a lot was being able to practice more. Uh, we really just ran through our offense over and over again until we really got that chemistry going. Um, it was hard whenever we played a lot and couldn't really practice. But yeah, I really felt like the team really came together tonight. Mm -hmm. Were you a little nervous uh, that there would be some rust because it had been 10 days since you guys had played a game together? Um, I think we were more hungry than thinking about rust. Right. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the game got a little dicier than you wanted. 15 point lead early in the third. Then they had some great contributions off the bench. Yeah. Did any of that surprise you? Uh, especially like Mal, I think she scores 20. Um, was that not in the game plan, so to speak? Did it catch you off guard with any of that? No, I wouldn't say so. Honestly, it was just us not executing defensively. Um, we knew where their strengths were, and we just didn't um, take those away and force them to take their weaker shots. So uh, that was honestly, I think, our, our fault on that part. What did you learn about your team tonight? Because you especially had a couple of really key baskets when you needed them. Um, you got some defensive stops to start the fourth. What did it tell you about the moxie that this team might have? Uh, it's just fun. You know, whenever you know your team, your teammates passing it to you, you're ready to knock it down. And then just this mini celebration after whenever, you know, it's like, let's go, we got this. And it just feels like every shot you make after that, you know, the team's coming together. And even if you miss, like, we're running back saying, good shot, you know, you got it next time, stuff like that. Yeah. Talked at all about, I mean, obviously the conference schedule was weird with you playing two games early in December. Mm -hmm. You drop both of them. Is there any stress of importance on winning this game so you don't start 0 3 in conference play? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're coming into a new year, and this kind of feels like that next season, you know, especially, I mean, it is kind of weird playing those two games, but officially getting into conference play. And yeah, we wanted to start it off right and just start building those wins up. I think now is the important time to get that momentum going. Obviously, they had some soft shots, but that's probably the one aspect you guys aren't happy with tonight, right? Yeah. Yes. I will work on my one on one defense. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, personally. Yeah. But it's also two defense. It's not just you, but uh. there have got to be some things that, what did you notice on the floor? You really got to get better at. Honestly, on ball defense, really specifically, just individually winning those battles. I think that. We're really good at helping each other and um, getting those stops. But when we can't just lock down and just play one on one, that's where we can tend to struggle and giving those kids those shots they're really successful at. So that's what we need to work on as a team. Your offense has kind of been up and down tonight. Both of you shot extremely well from the floor. Does that give you a boost of confidence moving forward? Yeah, for I sure. So. <laughs> Offensively, just that was a, a nice performance, which we needed because. Uh, you know, they're a difficult team to, to defend, um, but it was great to get off to that good start in the, the first half and have two really good, solid offensive quarters. Um, sputtered a little bit in the second half, but that's kind of typical in conference play. Um, te teams make adjustments, and it just gets tougher and tougher to score. But um, I, I like the shot making that, that uh, took place late. I thought Jamie was really good in that second half. and. Um, you know, Mac had a big time game. So just proud of the you know, first game back. You know, Nevada had a game under their belt. You know, so you kind of think, are we, we going to have some rust? I just love the, the mentality our kids came out with to start that game. 2020, every game, 2020, play it out like this. Yeah, it'll, it'll stop. Yeah. Okay, is what'll happen. But yeah, just a, a stressful type of game, especially late game. I, you know, we just made some silly decisions and. Uh, their their quickness and their pressure, which we knew uh, they had the advantage there, it disrupted us. And not that we turned it over. I, I'm pleased with the nine turnovers and the 18 assists. I'm really happy with that. But we it took us out of our flow. And uh, we just, um, yeah, as that game went on, it, it just needed to get over with us with the lead. It really, it, yeah, and we've been moving the ball well, and we've been getting these types of shots, but tonight we made them, and, and we're capable of having a lot of nights like this. So I'm just, uh, again, pleased with the, the conviction mentality that our, 
our kids had. And, um, you know, and, and Tori, I think Tori can – she came back from the break and she had two big-time practices shooting the ball. So she's right there. So when we get everybody going, uh, shooting like they're capable, I think we can be much more difficult to defend. But uh, the other end of the floor, the defensive end, was a huge concern in that, that second half. Well, we started in the zone just because they are very dynamic off the bounce. You know, they've got, you know, 14 has a big pull-up game, 23 shoots the three, and she's shifty with the ball. Booker's really talented with the ball. They went five guards in the second half. They played 24 at the five. So it was going to be difficult, and they just got us in some space and, and took it to the rack. And uh, we do need to be better at that, that's for sure. But, I, I'll, you know, they made some tough ones too. You know, they made some tough contested shots on on Jamie, but Jamie also had a really big block. And although we gave up some points there, the kids still kept competing. And that's how you win close conference basketball games is because teams are going to make plays on you. They're going to make plays. You got to move on to the next one. When you look at it, obviously you have trouble getting stops at times, especially in the second half. But that last play, they're looking for a three. You force them into a really bad three. What does that tell you about? Yeah, I, you know, we've, yeah, we can be a really good defensive team. You know, we, um, that last possession kind of showed it. And I thought Megan was outstanding and, and ran that uh, 24 off the, the three point line. But um, I, I thought we got a little tired, Mike, in that second half. Um, not only are we running around defensively, but offensively, we moved a lot. And so it was both ends of the floor. And so I just, our kids were tough. First game back, we got to get in a little better shape or kind of get those game legs back. But um, I'm glad we get to go to the film room tomorrow and, and, and pick on some of these defensive things with a, a W under our belt.